Hello, I'm Tommy Calloway, and today I am reviewing the remote wireless lav mic system called the Comica WM100. Now, this thing costs about 180 bucks, and for what you're paying, it does feel a little bit plasticky. You would expect to see a little bit more magnesium alloy, but I guess it is only 180 bucks, and in this price range, that's what you can expect. It also requires two AA batteries, both for the transmitter and the receiver, which I have on my camera right now. I'm going to switch over to the sound provided by the wireless lav mic system right now. And now you're hearing the Comica W100's lav mic, which I have positioned on my shirt. Down here, just slightly out of frame. So remote wireless lav mics are great in situations where you need to be far away from your camera. Because otherwise, the further away from the camera you get, the worse the sound quality would be. But now I know that the sound quality is going to be the same regardless of how far away I get or how close I get to my camera. So this transmitter has a mic in and a line in port. So you can use the lav mic or you can ditch the lav mic and use your other studio equipment and hook it into the line in portion of the transmitter. And this is now coming directly into my camera from my studio microphone. Or if you really wanted to, you could use the line in and the mic in. So using the lav mic and some external equipment at the same time. For example, I'm talking into the lav mic now while using music from Blue Wednesday via my computer into the line in, into the receiver, directly into the SD card, and this is what I'm recording onto my camera right now. The receiver also has a headphone or monitor port so you can hear what's happening on your camera's end. Now something I've noticed is it seems like the transmitter and receiver seem to drop off on the low end of lower frequencies, such as right now, you're hearing my voice recorded through my studio microphone onto my camera through the transmitter and receiver of the Kamika WM100. It just doesn't sound quite as full as when recorded through my Zoom H6. Now the sound quality that you're getting here is definitely usable and more than suitable as an emergency backup and you should always record your sound in at least two places. So I would recommend this system for that purpose. But I would not recommend this lav mic system as a primary or sole source of audio. It does sound a little bit tinny, kind of like one of the old timey 50s microphones. And I did try several different frequencies. I lowered the volume all the way down on my camera, turned the volume up on the mixer, turned it up on, this, on the transmitter and the receiver. So is it worth the 180 bucks or whatever you're gonna pay for it? Yes as a tool or as an addition to an existing kit. Um, or if, again, if you have just a limited budget and you absolutely require a lav mic. If you're looking for one thing to buy and you need super high quality sound and a lav mic, I would probably recommend saving up and spending the six or $700 on some nice Sony or Sennheiser equipment. I hope you guys like this review. Uh, feel free to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you wanna see more reviews and stuff like this, feel free to subscribe. I do make videos every couple days and for my subscribers, you guys rock. Thank you for coming back. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.